Okay, hi there, welcome to a short video where we will look at the concept of a mixed economy uh, as a form of economic system. Well, firstly, what do we mean by an economic system? I think it's best defined or described as a network of organisations, oftentimes obviously within a country, and those organisations are used to resolve what to produce, how much, how and for whom to supply goods and services. Economic systems are networks that provide a means of addressing the fundamental problems of scarcity, sustainability and equity. We normally just isolate the economic problem as one of scarcity. Increasingly, of course, we must have a much broader conception of, of the fundamental problem. Sustainability and equity are now fundamental to the challenges we face. Well, we can quickly recap the difference, for example, between a free market or laissez-faire economic system and a planned or command economy. So in a free market economy, the economic problems, uh, for example, of what goods and services should be produced and in what ways, they're usually solved by consumers expressing their tastes and preferences in patterns of spending, and that's then reflected in changing demand for goods and services, which ultimately then sends signals to producers through the price mechanism about what and how much to supply. In a free market system, there is a role for government, but that role is typically very limited. The opposite it would be a more rig uh, sort of rigid, uh, planned, command economic system. In this system, commonly associated with a socialist or communist system, the government or the state owns the scarce resources, the, uh, the commanding heights of the economy, the, the leading means of production. The state allocates resources. The state sets production targets and growth rates according to their own subjective view of what people uh, need. And in this system, the market price, the price mechanism, plays little or no active role in informing resource allocation and uh, in influencing decisions. Often the case in the planned or command system that the, the system does not meet people's needs and wants and queuing, and, queuing is needed and rationing in a world of increasing scarcity. So what is a mixed economy? Well, a mixed economy is a system, an economic system, where some factor resources, uh, some businesses, some industries, are owned and run by the public sector. We call that the government and the state. And there's also a key role to play for the private sector as well. So it's a mix between public and private sector. The public sector, the government sector, typically supplies what we call public and merit goods. Now, we have separate videos on each of these, but public goods, things like national defence systems, uh, flood defence systems, etc., which the free market might not actually provide left to its own devices. Merit goods would include things like having a state-funded and provided uh, healthcare system, state education, uh, local authority housing, for example. So the state is both a provider and also an intervener in markets. The state intervenes in markets through fiscal policy, other types of regulations uh, designed to correct for one or often multiple market failures. Again, we have lots of separate videos on each of the main causes of market failure. Check out our micro playlists for that. Nearly every country in the world is, is mixed. That's the nature of economic systems. The UK, United States, France, Germany, even countries which are perceived to be, if you like, poster childs for free market economics, even Hong Kong, Singapore, for example, they are essentially mixed economies. The government does play a key role. But the mix changes over time. So, for example, some countries may move towards a policy of privatisation, where the size of the state sector shrinks. They're moving more towards the free market system. Others... The pendulum tilts the other way and businesses are taken back into state ownership through nationalisation. So in a mixed economy, we have some state ownership. For example, in the UK, Network Rail is a not-for-dividend company that uh, makes profits, but the profits are reinvested in the trade infrastructure in the UK. The state intervenes in the price mechanism. So, for example, the sugar levy came into force in the UK in 2018. And that's an intervention designed as, a, if you like, a hard nudge to change our behaviour and perhaps hopefully reduce demand for and consumption of high sugar content drinks. 
Another key aspect of a mixed economy involves the states providing a range of welfare benefits, such as income support or, or the state pension, or perhaps the job seeker's allowance. And another aspect of the mixed economy is regulation. Governments introduce regulations for markets, be it health and safety legislation or setting minimum environmental standards. These are all aspects of the mixed economy and you'll find loads of examples of the mixed economy at work nearly every day that you study our fantastic subject. Just yesterday, Californian government announced a plan to ban the sale of new petrol powered cars by 2035. Similar interventions by the UK government to ban uh, petrol and diesel vehicles by, by 2030, I think. That's a, a regulatory intervention. And uh, the UK government, which has been operating a, a job furlough scheme to help mitigate the impact of the coronavirus pandemic, uh, has just replaced this with a, a wage subsidy scheme. Again, this is intervention in the labour market designed to have economic effects. So any form of intervention by the state or state ownership is effectively uh, a changing element of the mixed economy. Most economies, actually let's be, let's be firmer, all economies are mixed with varying degrees of state intervention. And the scale of government ownership of several industries is increasing in quite a few countries uh, as a result, uh, firstly, of the global financial crisis 10 years ago, and most recently, the economic damage inflicted by the coronavirus pandemic. As governments often ba offer bailouts, often they take a, a, an equity stake in the industry. Uh, you make a case for saying, for example, that effectively the UK rail network, the train operating companies have now effectively been nationalised uh, in the UK as, as, as the change in the mixed economy continues apace. So there we go. Uh, that, hopefully that gave you a, a little overview about the essential nature of what we call a mixed economic system. Thank you very much.